Hello, good evening to everyone. Um, I, I want to know if you can hear me. Just uh, please let me know that. Hello, good evening to everyone. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Okay. Um, I will share with you my my screen right now because we are going to start with a with an activity. Um, please just give me a second, and um, I'm back. Okay, um, I don't know if you can check uh, the chat box of this video conference. There, I share uh, a link uh, that, okay, uh, if you click on it, you will go to a web page where you have to work on a worship. Uh, the worship is about campfire. Uh, there, we are going to find some survival items. And uh, what we have to do is to match them. We're going to we we're going to um, match all the pictures that we have there with uh, the nouns that we have uh, up, uh, below of that uh, of those pictures. Okay, so there we're going to find letters that correspond to each of the pictures, and you have to move the noun to that letter. Is it clear what we are going to do? Yes, teacher. Okay, so go ahead. Let me know, please let me know when you finish, okay? After you finish, uh, Okay. Just let me know. Okay.
Do you finish? I don't know if you had problems with that exercise. I'm seeing that Mr. Boris uh, already finished. What about the rest? Um, I'm finished. So you finished too, sir. Okay, very good. Excellent. Mr. Um, Cáceres, um, we are working on the exercise um, that I sent uh, via a link, so, I mean, via the chat box. Uh, I sent a link uh, where you have to go and complete the worship that I have posted for you tonight. Um, and it's about matching. What you have to do is just to uh, check all the pictures that you have there and, and match it with um, the words that you have uh, below. You send them in the WhatsApp group? No, I send it using the using chat box of this video conference. Mm, but I can see. You don't have it? Okay, I will send it again. Okay. Can you check it? Yes, teacher. I okay. get it. Okay, very good. Thank 
Okay, thank you, Mr. Uh, Rivera. Okay, um, we're going to start with that exercise right now, and we are going to go to, we're going to uh, work on uh, the the exercise that we have on the on the platform. Um, as you know, tonight we're going to be starting with section number four. I will share this screen right now, um, and we have a lesson objective. Um, in in that lesson we have a for this lesson, I mean, we have that uh, you will learn how to tell stories. Um, in the video, we are going to have um, a, we are going to have a, discuss, a discussion um, where we have to talk about the video that um, has a title around the campfire. What are we going to see uh, there? What, uh, sorry, what are we going to watch there? Um, in this video, we're going to uh, see a conversation. Uh, well, it's not like a conversation, but it's uh, about telling stories. Um, so, sometimes, and this is uh, like um, a little bit common, uh, when you're in a campfire, Many people get together in order to um, tell stories. Uh, sometimes uh, the stories are like a little bit scary or uh, funny. Give me a second. Someone sent a message. Uh, Mr. Cassidy, okay, thank you for letting me know that you already finished. So uh, what we're going to do here is to see how uh, she does uh, how she tell the story. And uh, later we're going to do an activity about uh, telling stories, okay? So please pay attention to this and then we're going to uh, go to the activity. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that, just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. 
Was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor, dead bride. So how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay then, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers in there in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that, thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. Uh, okay, they were scared, right? <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Um. So there we we watch. Um, uh, sorry, scary, uh, scary one. Um, and what we're going to do. Here is an activity called campfire. It's a, a little bit similar to what she was doing, but in this case, you are going to be the uh, ones that are going to tell studies. What are we going to do in this activity? You are going to have 10 minutes for creating a study. And um, after that, you are going to tell that study to everybody. So you decide um what that study is about please don't don't go and, and copy and paste study from the from the internet uh, you have to create your one study um you have to create a, that the story and um please be a little bit creative um in order to listen what you have to do it, this activity is going to help you to uh, practice your vocabulary and also your pronunciation because you're going to be participating in this video conference. I don't know if it's clear um, all the instructions that I'm giving to you. Are clear? Yes, no? Oh. Teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. It's clear. Yes? Yes. Someone, someone said no. 
so so <risa> ok mister um, <risa> ok lo, la actividad consiste en crear este una historia eh. Eh, una historia ustedes deciden este qué de sobre qué quieren ustedes hablar okay. um, cuando ustedes tengan la la historia, eh, van a participar en esta videoconferencia. Ustedes la van a decir. Van a tener 10 minutos para crear. Les voy a dar 10 minutos. Si necesitan más de 10 minutos, les voy a dar 5 más adicionales. Si no la han terminado. ¿Qué cre creería, creería yo que 10 minutos están, está bien? Eh, traten de ser originales con la historia. Uh, me refiero con eso a que no vayan a internet a copiar este, una información y listo, no. Sino que seamos un poquito creativos eh, y creemos nuestra propia historia, ¿sí? Puede ser del tema que ustedes quieran. Puede ser funny, puede ser scary, eh, maybe romantic, or uh, what else? What, what other... Eh, Sorry. Bye, bye. Okay. Uh -huh. So you you are going you are going to you are the ones that are going to decide uh, what kind of story are you going to bring to the journal of video conference. Okay. So, ustedes van a decidir qué tipo de historia quieren pues, traer a la videoconferencia en este general. Está clara las indicaciones ahora. Yes. Ok, bien, entonces vamos a trabajar en este momento en esa actividad y luego voy a escuchar sus historias, las que tienen, las que tengan para este, después de esos 10 minutos, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, okay. muy bien. It's a little bit difficult, but I try. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> uh... <laughs>
Okay, do you have your study? Not yet? Not yet, teacher. Not yet, okay. Not yet. Not yet. I believe I finish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good, sir. Uh, we're going to listen your uh, study in a moment, okay? We're going to wait uh, till the rest uh, finish. Okay? Okay. I'm finished too. I finish. Teacher, you have of your microphone. Oh, sorry. I, I was telling you that. Um, good. So, I, I was telling you that you did an, an excellent job. Um, and you finish on time because we are going to start with a talent study. Let's listen to your studies about a. a, 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 a let me. Let me see this. Okay, uh, Miss Sierra, you said you finished, right? Yes. Okay, tell us, um, what's your he, he, story about? It's a very short story, but uh, it's something happened to my sister. Okay. Yesterday, uh, she went out to living room around 12 a.m. So yeah. she, she, um, she went out to live in a dish, a plato, a dish. Yes. Uh -huh. But uh, she saw a arm 
in the window that is near the principal door. And they were trying to open the door. So um, my sister screamed and they out her arm, but the, the strange thing is that the dog didn't bark and ladrar. Okay, bark. Bark. Uh -huh. So my sister was very scary and she um, can sleep yesterday. That is my story. I don't know. That's your story. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Very good. Okay. As I said, as I said at the beginning, you can create your own story the way you want. Actually, it, that happened. That um, real, that's a real story. That's a real story. Yes. I don't okay. know if it's true that someone tried to open the door yesterday. Oh, but, okay. Yes. Oh, that's all. Yeah, that's all. Okay, <laughs> very good. So, uh, Mr. Mr. Rivera, you finish? Yes, teacher. So, go ahead. Okay. Uh, this is a short history when I go, when I joined into the Boy Scouts. A long time ago, when I was young, and the Boy Scout, we used to, to go camping in remote place. On one of those days, when I had to look out, eh, no sé cómo se dice vigilar, look out, look out. Uh -huh, for hours at night, and the other older scout will make you believe that in the camping place, they're scary. You stay, you stay told you there's in the place, there was an Indian cemetery and throughout the night, you can hear voice. But I really, it was part of a joke on their part, but with who, what we, who were, they're really scary. Watch a night, watch we did, was built a wood fire and we all sat around it so tall together with walls be too afraid to be at night. Okay, very good. Excellent, sir. Um, just guys, just give me a, a, a minute because I had to plug in my computer and I don't have a, my trigger near to me. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay.
Okay, um, I'm back. Okay, guys, uh, let's continue with the activity. Uh, Mr. Cáceres, you already finished? Yes, teacher. <laughs> it's oh. a little bit. Uh, okay. okay, okay. Okay, once upon a time, a lot of friends who are going to the wood to come. When they arrive, they parked the car and start to prepare the things to bring the walk it to the place where they are going to have the camp. A few hours later, they arrive around to 5 p.m. Then they someone start to making the fire. Two of them start to prepare the food. And when everything is ready, they are going to sit around the fire and start to talking about scary things. When someone was standing up behind the behind the behind behind them with a mask and a big a big knife with blood, and everybody screamed, and the person behind the mask was another friend who didn't say he was going to go with them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, that's, that's all. <laughs> That's all. Okay, very good, excellent, sir. Good study. Uh, let me see who else, Mr. Mr. Hako. Okay, to share. I'm writing a little a little history. Okay. Um, the names is the yellow guitar. Uh, Sophie wished a guitar. And one day she requested to her father. She loves learn to play a guitar. One day her father was to search in the music store and saw an ugly and dirty yellow guitar. But this one was damaged. The father buy, buy it and go to home for repair, pain, and an instant the guitar looks so beautiful again. Sophie is very happy and play our wonderful melodies with her yellow guitar. Okay, very good, excellent. Good job, sir. Okay, okay uh, thanks. Okay, uh, Ms. Mendez. Ms. Mendez, are you there? Okay, I think you are not here. Uh, Miss Castro. Yes, teacher. Okay, ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, go ahead, Miss. All right. This is a history when I was kissed by Harry Styles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> One day I was running at the beach. I went to my brothers to California and visit Santa Monica Pier. And then I was watching the waves and the sunset, my brothers swimming with her girlfriend. And I was sad because I had my heart broken. Okay. <laughs> In that beauty moment the I was watching to my brother, I began to cry. And a boy came up to me and he told me, why are you crying? <laughs> and I say, because I want a beautiful look like they have. Huh? <laughs> and he say me, baby, this is your lucky day. I'm looking at an amazing girl like you. Don't kiss me. Then I wake up. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a dream. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Good job, Miss. Good job. Thank Ms. you. Mendez, are you there? Okay. Um, I think you're not here. Uh guys, uh, time's over. Um, I have to finish this video conference because I have to attend another group. But um uh, 
the activity that you're going to be developing, it's going to be found in the platform in the exercise uh, 4.4, that is knowledge check. Um, you're good. Uh, something that you have to do first is to work on, I mean, to watch uh, the video is 4.3. Sorry, I'm not sharing my screen. I will share it right now. Okay, here. Okay, here. You're going to be working on 4.3 and also a 4.4. In, in the 4.4, in this part, you're going to find um, the activity. In this activity, it says complete the new study using the past continuous and the first and the uh, simple past. Use the verse given. Uh, in, you're going to find those words between parentheses. And uh, what you have to do is to use it according to a uh, according to Saxon with a sentence. Uh, you have three sentences there, and also you have uh another exercise in which you're going to find four exercises. That, that's what you're going to do for tomorrow. So uh, if you have any question, please let me know using the WhatsApp group. I will be attentive to, uh, to answer you. Um, and that's all. So I don't know if you have any question. No teacher. For the moment, no, no teacher. teacher. Not no. sure. at this moment. Okay, if you have it, uh, as I said, you can uh, ask me using the WhatsApp. Okay. See you tomorrow at the same time. Okay, uh, teacher. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. everybody.